Habitat for Humanity helps people across the world by building houses and, of course, giving people an affordable place to live, among other services. Their Hamilton branch, it has uh, opened up a second restore location and talk about this exciting news. It's the CEO of ha uh, Habitat for ha uh, Humanity, Hamilton, Mr. Sean Fair. Sean, great to see you today. Welcome. Thank you very much. Great to see you too. Uh, this is exciting stuff. A second restore. Um, talk to us about the importance of this restore. Uh, for the individuals who require it, but also for the community surrounding it. For sure. So uh, the Restore is a Canadian invention and is now in 70 or 80 countries around the world. Uh, we accept donated gift uh, uh, goods and uh, we resell them to the general public like other thrift stores, uh, but uh, we differentiate based on the fact that it is uh, uh, building supplies and other things that you need around the home. And uh, it funds our operations. So while our core business is building homes and, and serving the community in that manner, uh, we also serve the community by accepting their donations and providing discounted goods to them. And all of the proceeds from the Restore help fund uh, administrative operations so that when somebody donates a dollar to affordable housing, that entire dollar goes towards building houses. And when it comes to, uh, and that's all great news, when it comes to, to uh, <coughs> donating, it can be gently used. Uh, you've ordered too many f uh, floor tiles, donate them. Too much wallpaper, I don't know if that's still a thing. Toilets, uh, faucets, you name it. Again, gently used and still very good working condition, correct? Absolutely, and as a charity, we provide a, uh, a tax receipt okay. for people to claim, and that's based on the amount that we can sell it for. So, uh, you know, we try to get the most that we can for, uh, for our, our donations, uh, both for our own benefit, but also for the benefit of the donor. So where, where is the new store located? Uh, 1525 Stone Church Road East. So we're connected to the Splitsville Bowling Alley, great neighbors, and yep. right across the street from uh, Carmen's, also great neighbors. By all means. And your first store, where was the first store? First store is still on Nash Road North, uh, 285 Nash. We're near uh, Nash and Barton, just off the Red Hill. And, and from that first store, so much that you learned from there, you're putting it into this second store. But no doubt, there's always a few little hiccups or little bugs that you have to work out. Overall, the soft launch and the opening has been going fairly well. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, we're, we're doing really, really well. The store is jammed full of product right now, so that, that's uh, proof positive that the community response has been strong. We've got a lot of donations, so yeah. uh, we're eager to, uh, to invite people in. And, and, and continue to, to help give back, and that's so much about what Habitat for Humanity here in Hamilton is about. But you also give so much more, and you do so much more. There's also a great uh, number of things happening throughout the summer, I understand, for you fine folks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we're, uh, we're expecting to finish up seven houses this summer and hand the keys over to families with uh, affordable mortgages. And, uh, and then late summer, early fall, we'll be kicking off another 10-unit 10, uh, 10 build in Lower Stony Creek. So excited about that. And then in addition to that, we continue our partnership with uh, City Housing Hamilton to repair vacant homes. And we're building in Oshweekin with uh, Six Nations Housing as well. Of course, we are in a housing crisis. We hear about every day. We're not the only municipality, though. Is that correct? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's across the country uh, and maybe even around the world. Yeah. yeah. So, so thank you for saying that because we're also fo hyper-focused on Hamilton. It's only a Hamilton issue. No, it, it is everywhere right now. So the work that you're doing is so important and so crucial. Talk to us about how it works. When, when someone is given a house uh, and, and a very uh, affordable mortgage, uh, they also have to put in a little blood, sweat, and tears themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Let's hear about that. Yeah, for sure. So we want to find appropriate partners. We enter into a mortgage that is 25 years long, right? It is a long partnership. And one of the ways that we test out that partnership early on is to have people contribute 500 hours of their time as volunteers on site or in our restores mm -hmm. um, as a demonstration of uh, their willingness to partner, right? It also gives us some time to learn about them and some time for them to learn about us and so that's a, a key component before they enter into a mortgage and then we hand over the keys. It also I can I, I would only imagine it takes away some of the stigma gives them something to be <coughs> proud of that they have helped build and they can say yeah I helped build my own house. Yeah you use the word give and we don't give anything away no, these people earn it yes and they, they pay for it yes right and uh, really we're serving uh, community members who could not otherwise get into home ownership yeah. so we're really excited about uh, different 
differentiating in that respect as well. You, you talked about one of the projects moving forward is, is redoing and touching <coughs> up some of the other housing that's available here in this city, but it needs to get up to par. How is that process going, and, and can we see some more units opening up at some point to help with some of the crisis that's going on here? Absolutely. It's a huge focus with uh, Adam Swedland and the folks at City Housing Hamilton. They've got a number of contractors, so we're just one of many, mm -hmm. uh, but we're delighted because we can bring in community members as volunteers to help out with laying flooring or painting and, and so on and so forth. Um, there's uh, an abundance of opportunity there, so we're really happy to have that partnership and be able to move forward with it. With so much talk on partnerships and the abundance of help out there, is, this would also be a great opportunity, I believe, for individuals who want to maybe touch up on some skills, uh, get some community hours, volunteer hours? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, we do have f folks who have a uh, need for community service hours or folks who uh, you know want to give back. And of course, the folks who say, I'd like to lay floor, but I'd like to have some practice first before I do my own house. So it's yeah. like, yeah, come on out. Or a retired handyman who's still got a little gas in the tank who wants to help out. A lot of our volunteers, our crew leaders, in fact, are folks who are retired. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can come out during the week or on, on weekends from time to time and, and lead other volunteers in the construction of our home. So, yeah, really rely on them. <sighs> uh, However people want to get involved with uh, Habitat for Humanity right here in Hamilton, whether it be sponsorships, donations, uh, corporates, they can go to your website for Absolutely. that side of things. Yep. And then for those that find themselves in need, who, who need, need a hand and want to give back and help out maybe building their own house. And as you said, it's not about giving, it's about helping build it. Mm -hmm. Also go to the website. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, we're, we're not open for applications at the moment. We don't keep a waiting list because situations change and we don't want to leave people hanging for too long. Yeah. Um, but given that we're about to build in Lower Stony Creek, we'll be looking for uh, 10 families or, you know, I'll use the, the word family loosely, right? But folks who are in need of affordable home ownership and who would be interested in partnering with us. So you can check out the website. Mr. Ferris, thank you so much thank for you. your time, sir. Congratulations. Uh, continue all the great work. Uh, you're welcome back here anytime, my friend. Thank you so much. All right. There you have it, Mr. Sean Ferris, uh, Habitat for Humanity. And thank you very much for joining us. We want you to stay connected with us, so please visit our show page at cable14.com. And you can be part of the conversations with us on X at THN on C14. You can also catch past episodes on Cable 14 and cable14.com, keeping you connected with the people that make Hamilton a vibrant and engaged community. It's the Hamilton Network.